That's an excellent question. Uh, probufine provides treatment for six months after a single procedure. So it's meant for maintenance treatment. The typical treatment starts with oral dosing, daily dosing of product that a patient takes. And over time, they start reaching a stable level. Our product, Probufine, replaces at that point where a stable dose over a long period of time can truly provide treatment that has some clear benefits. For one, they don't feel the high and low of a daily dosed product. Another one is where they know that they're being given medicine 24 hours a day gives them a lot of confidence in that they can function normally. And the goal in this treatment is to get people to function and re-engage into society in a very normal manner. They don't have to remember to take a pill, which by itself is a trigger with their addiction. And so this avoids that. Additionally, benefits such as a lot of patients will sell their pills because they have a value on the street. Uh, that's part of their income. This avoids any of that diversion of drug onto the streets and potential for any misuse of the drug, which has been seen by pediatric little kids get hold of pills because they're sitting there in their parents' house and uh, there have been some deaths associated with it. So there are many advantages to a treatment such as this uh, in maintaining really a very stable treatment over a long period of time. Well, uh, it's an excellent partnership for us. Brayburn Pharmaceuticals is a very well-funded private company that has a strong motivation in making this a very successful product. Their entire product portfolio behind this is based on long-term treatments using either depot injections or implants. And this will be the first product that they are marketing. And it behooves them to do a very good job, obviously. And they are indeed. They've taken off uh, in a bang. In the treatment with Probufine requires training of physicians and healthcare providers on how to implant, how to insert the implant, and remove it after the six-month treatment. And to date, which is you know, literally less than four weeks after approval of the product, they have already certified more than 1,100 healthcare providers through this training program. Uh, the first patients were treated last week, which again, within two weeks after approval of a product, that is incredible to get the product on the market and available for patients. So, they are doing a superb job of making this product available, training the healthcare provider so that it can be used. And we see this to be a very successful formula that they are using in promoting the product at this point. Numerous uh, insurance companies have already uh, agreed to cover the product and it is already being covered by several Blue Cross Blue Shield uh, regional insurance companies at this point. So we believe it will be a very successful partnership. For us, it means upfront payments that we already received of $15 million, uh, royalties that start in the mid-teens and go to the low 20 percentages. This is based upon a tiered structure, as well as sales-based milestones. So when they achieve certain targeted sales, we receive a milestone payment and the total potential is up to $165 million over the next several years. So it is a very healthy partnership. It is a very valuable partnership for Titan, and we certainly look forward to that. Absolutely. The, you know, the technology, uh, this platform, Pronura, provides a method to deliver long-term compounds which can be very suitable for chronic treatments. 
And the first two that we are developing, as you mentioned, ropinirol for treating Parkinson's disease, and then a T3 implant for treating hypothyroidism. Both of these are in early stages of development. We have done uh, non-clinical development already, shown proof of concept in non-clinical models, and then advanced this to the next stage. In the case of the ropinirol implant for Parkinson's, we've met with the FDA on a pre-IND meeting and already started the toxicology program that will provide all of the data that the FDA requires. And our goal is to file the IND before the end of this year and start a uh, proof of concept clinical study. So we expect to get that product in the clinic by the end of this year, that's our goal. The T3 implant is right behind it, about six months behind in its development. And our goal is to meet with the FDA in the fourth quarter this year, define our program for development, and start that and complete it by the middle of next year so we can start a proof of concept clinical study. So our goal really is to have two more products in the clinic within the next 18 months, and we're well on our way to do that. Yes, very much so. Uh, all of these products where we are using a approved compound follow the 505B2 pathway. This is the regulatory pathway in the US that is used primarily for products where it's a different formulation of an already approved compound. By uh, following this pathway, the timeline for development is a lot shorter. Uh, typically, we go through an initial clinical study establishing proof of concept and also looking at the dosing and then move straight to a phase three study and typically one, maybe two phase three studies is sufficient for approval. So the timelines in general can be shorter than developing a brand new compound and we take advantage of that in this process, just like probifene. Our goal certainly is to add more value to Titan and using the platform technology is the fastest way for us to do that. Uh, clearly, Ropinirol and the T3 products, those programs are funded already with the uh, milestone payments that we've received. And we are looking at other compounds, looking at the feasibility of other chronic treatments with compounds that would make sense for a program like this. And our goal is to add additional products in the pipeline. Certainly over time we will require possibly additional capital and we would look to raise that, but it would be supported by the additional value of new products being added to the pipeline. And over time, the next two, three years, we intend to build a company that can have substantial value with multiple products in the pipeline.